There's only one, two. Live from Jack London Square, this is the 10 o'clock news. Winner of the 1980 Emmy Award for Best Newscast in Northern California. The Bay Area's most complete nighttime television report with the award-winning Channel 2 News Team. And late satellite coverage from around the world. Good evening, I'm Elaine Corral. Claude Mann is ill tonight. From KTVU, this is Channel 2's 10 o'clock news. The Bay Area's most complete nighttime television report with the award-winning Channel 2 news team and late satellite coverage from around the world. Good evening, I'm Barbara Simpson. And I'm George Watson. Dennis Richmond is on vacation. Now, the Bay Area's most complete nighttime television report. This is the 10 o'clock news with the award-winning Channel 2 news team and late satellite coverage from around the world. Live from Channel 2 and first in the Bay Area, this is the award-winning 10 o'clock news, the number one primetime newscast in the country. Good evening, I'm Elaine Corral. And I'm Dennis Richmond. Crowds are gathered outside San Quentin Prison tonight on the eve of what could be the state's first execution in 25 years. But even as the gas chamber was made ready for Robert Alton Harris, an appeals court tonight granted a stay of execution. Scotland Yard reports that the popular British TV star Benny Hill was found dead in his home today. And we'll take a look at the East Bay Hills exactly six months after the fire. Those stories and all the news on this Monday night, April 20th, 1992. in the Bay Area. This is the 10 o'clock news on Channel 2, the number one primetime newscast in the country. Good evening, I'm Elaine Corral. And I'm Dennis Richmond. Live from KTVU, this is the Emmy Award winning 10 o'clock news on Channel 2, the number one primetime newscast in the country. Good evening, I'm Elaine Corral. And I'm Dennis Richmond. A mild earthquake that rattled much of the Bay Area today left a lot of frayed nerves. It happened on a fault line that runs under this East Bay freeway, and tonight experts say a much bigger quake danger is lurking here. Family and friends gathered in Vallejo tonight mourning the death of a young mother and praying for the safe return of her baby. We'll have a live report. Why is a fisherman continuing his rebellion against the Coast Guard? You'll hear what he's saying tonight. Those stories and all the news on this Tuesday night, May 21st, 1996. Live from KTVU, this is the award-winning 10 o'clock news on Channel 2, the number one primetime newscast in the country. Good evening, I'm Elaine Corral. And I'm Dennis Richmond. And now, the award-winning 10 o'clock news on Channel 2, the number one primetime newscast in the country. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. For the second time this week, the San Jose Police Department is mourning the loss of one of its own. Earlier this week, an officer piloting a police helicopter died in a crash. Police in the South Bay make an arrest in the highly publicized assault of a second grader. We'll have the very latest. Hundreds of illegal immigrants in the Bay Area are hoping to meet a deadline, and they're willing to sleep out all night to do it. Homeless people in San Francisco say a police sweep unfairly targets them, but officers say they are after something else. And imagine getting a PG&E bill with thousands of dollars in charges. It happened to an East Bay woman, and it is not a mistake. Those stories and all the news on this Sunday night, April 29th, 2001. And now, the award-winning 10 o'clock news on Fox 2. The number one primetime newscast in the country. Good evening, I'm Diane Dwyer. 
Live from the award-winning Channel 2 Newsroom. Complete Bay Area news coverage. This is the 10 o'clock news on KTVU Channel 2. The number one primetime newscast in the country. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is the 10 o'clock news on KTVU Channel 2. Good evening, I'm Gassia Mikaelian, filling in tonight for Julie Hayner. And I'm Frank Somerville. Words of warning scrawled on Oakland sidewalks will show you why some are worried about violence as the Ohana's measurely murder trial nears an end. Gay Pride celebrates 40 years in San Francisco, but violence in the Castro casts a pall over some of the festivities. Victims of violence pulled together today in a show of unity and support will take you to a special luncheon in the East Bay that brought out some emotional stories. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is the 10 o'clock news on KTVU Channel 2. Good evening. I'm Jana Katsuyama in for Heather Holmes tonight. And I'm Ken Wayne. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is the 10 o'clock news on KTVU Channel 2. Tear gas, flashbang devices, and more than 100 arrests occupy Oakland protesters' clash with police as they try to storm a downtown building. Good evening. I'm Ken Wayne. And hello again, everyone. I'm Heather Holmes. This is Channel 2. And now, Action News with Isabel Duran, Andy Park, and Sports with Mike Chamberlain. Good evening, everybody. It's a special edition of Two at Noon with Barbara Simpson. I'm Pat McCormick, and we're all here all this week in San Francisco with a live audience on Two at Noon. Now, live, the award-winning KTVU News Team and the 6 o'clock news. Good evening, I'm Leslie Griffith. And I'm George Watson. First live two hour morning newscast for the Bay Area. Right here. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome back once again to Morning Sun 2 at 701. From KTVU, mornings on two, the number one early morning newscast in the Bay Area. Looking at that, it's hard to believe it's going to be a miserable day around the Bay Area. At 7 a.m., a big storm is just on the horizon. We will have a live report on the roads. Traffic is moving along fine. On the markets, the Dow is up almost three points. NASDAQ is down one. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mornings on Two. I'm Ross McGowan. This is Friday, December the 10th. Live from KTVU, Mornings on Two. The number one morning newscast in the Bay Area. It's 7.01, and it's raining and cool out there this morning. The Live from the award-winning Channel 2 Newsroom, the new news. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Frank Somerville. And I'm Tori Campbell. Live from the award-winning Channel 2 Newsroom, the 5 o'clock news. Good evening, I'm Leslie Griffith. From the award-winning Channel 2 Newsroom,
complete Bay Area news coverage. The KTVU Channel 2 Morning News. Now, Pam Cook and Mark Curtis. And thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis. I'm Robert Honda live in Gilroy. It's supposed to be another scorching day in the Bay Area. We'll tell you how people are preparing to deal with the heat. Northern California firefighters make some progress on a brush fire in a former Army base that's been a real challenge to fight. We'll have details in a live report. Plus, a new and very cute face at a Northern California zoo. Those stories and more next on the KTVU Channel 2 News at noon. Live from the award-winning Channel 2 Newsroom, complete Bay Area news coverage. The KTVU Channel 2 News at noon with Frank Somerville and Tori Campbell. Good afternoon. Frank has the afternoon off. Live, complete Bay Area news coverage from the award-winning Channel 2 Newsroom. The KTVU Channel 2 News at 6 with Dennis Richmond and Julie Hanger. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Channel 2 Morning News. And good morning. Thanks for waking up with us. It's Friday, February 6th. I'm Pam Cook. And good morning. I'm Dave Clark. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Mornings on 2. This latest round of storms has people living in low-lying areas on flood watch. We'll tell you where coming up. I'm Tara Moriarty, live in San Francisco, where the Freedom Train honoring Martin Luther King Jr. has arrived, but it got off to a bit of a bumpy start in San Jose. We'll explain why coming up. Plus, the hope of fighting survivors in Haiti is fading, while frustration over relief efforts is growing. KTVU News at noon starts now. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Channel 2 News at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Marky Banyas. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTBU Channel 2 News at 5. Two new orders today from President Obama. One... Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Channel 2 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Frank Somerville. And I'm Julie Hayner. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is a special edition of KTVU Channel 2 News. Good evening, I'm Sarah Seidner. This is a special Sunday edition of KTVU Channel 2 News at 6 o'clock. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Channel 2 Morning News. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday, yeah. August 30th. I'm Pam Cook. And good morning, I'm Dave Clark. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Channel 2 News at 5. Thick black smoke building up in Berkeley. The call came in just before three, and tonight police are still on the scene. Good evening, everyone. I'm Frank Somerville. I'm Gassi Mikaelian. Both police and firefighters responded to that fire at University Avenue and 2nd Street, right next to Interstate 80. Complete Bay Area news coverage continues. This is KTVU Channel 2 News at 5. Two boys killed their friend. For thrills, and now one of them is looking at spending a long time behind bars after being convicted today of first degree murder. Jay Williams could spend the rest of his life in prison for the brutal killing that was committed more than four years ago, supposedly done just for the thrill of it. Now at six, the groundswell is growing to require kill switches in smartphones. The tech giant that's changing its tune and the two new efforts being launched right now to get it done. Childhood friends are in mourning tonight after a car crash claims the life of a teenage girl. 
She always had a big, goofy smile on her face, so full of life, always happy. The frightening scene, some say, remains at the crash site. And financial problems for one of the East Bay's most prosperous cities. We'll tell you what's behind it. Complete Bay Area news coverage starts right now. This is KTVU Channel 2 News at 6. Police say it should be required. Cell phone makers say it's unnecessary. But tonight, both sides are getting closer to putting kill switches in your smartphone. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Frank Somerville. There are new efforts at both the state and local level to force cell phone companies to add so-called kill switches to their phones.